You know how it is. You're just living your life. Work, friends, stuff. Always running from one thing to the next. Then wham, you run into your soulmate and your whole world becomes vibrant. Everything changes. You can't concentrate at work. Your friends are put on the back burner. Normal stuff no longer matters. What matters is making your soulmate happy. You start to enjoy the music they listen to, and you become a fan of their favorite sports teams. You realize that you really want to learn how to cook, and you spend every possible second together. Further, you co-sign on a car for them. You jump into a shared cell phone plan. You become the proud parents of Princess. Maybe you talk about moving into an apartment together, and time marches on. Then one day, it's as if you're seeing this person for the very first time. Sure, you're both active, but not in the same way. Yes, you both have hopes for the future, but one wants to settle down, and the other wants to take off on adventures. You're not sure what happened exactly, but you realize that while this person is great, they're not great for you. You'd like to break up, but uh-oh, you're more locked in than you realized. What about that car loan? How much will it cost to break your cell phone contract? Will there be a custody battle over Princess? And just imagine how much harder it would be to break up if both your names were on the lease. Wow, how in the world did this happen? You acted on the belief that you had a timeless love, but in reality, you had a time-limited chemical high. When we first fall for someone, the brain makes and releases an abnormal amount of chemicals into the body that affect how we think and feel. For example, there's dopamine, norepinephrine, and oxytocin. These are some of the chemicals that make us feel happy, energetic, and connected to others. During this period, you're in an altered state of mind, a kind of drug state. So it makes sense to do the kinds of things that join your lives together little things that lock you in. But the high doesn't last forever. At some point, your chemical levels will become more normal. And this same person you locked in with in your drug state is, in many cases, not the person you see yourself with for the long haul, but you locked in before giving yourself a chance to come to. What is the better way? Take your time to enjoy one another without doing the things that make it harder to break up. Go ahead and fix up the current lemon. Don't sign for a new car. Buy Princess the fish, not Princess the puppy. Keep your own place. Don't sign a lease together. Decide to do the things that bring you closer. Don't slide into the things that lock you in. So what's the big takeaway from all this? Again, take it slow so you don't get a DUI, Decisions Under the Influence.